Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, to, and to work with your hands, just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anyone. 1 Thessalonians 4, 11 and 12 which is super funny because literally I just opened my um, verse of the day Bible app when I do this. And so um, sometimes it fits with what I'm doing. Sometimes it doesn't. Today it is dead on. Busy with my hands. If you could see this table, you would understand. Um, I'm going to move right on in it because I have done a lot. I'm supercharged super happy you know and just have all the things going so um all right where to start oh my goodness so let's start with crochet okay so well i need to back that um i don't know where it is so i finally there it is i finally took some days off at work um i'm taking october 30th and 31st yes halloween and then i'm taking december 1st through the 5th now I have a hard time taking time off because I don't have anything really to do. I mean, I, I'm not, I have vacation time, but I don't have any vacations planned. Um, I don't have kids that need to go to the school play. I don't have, you know, so when I take time off, it's just another day for the weekend kind of thing. And I did add those to very long weekends. So, um, the Halloween one, uh, Ashley and Tiffany and I are going to go skating. So Ashley already had, Ashley is Tiffany's sister and she is a high functioning, she can actually drive and stuff, but she's mentally challenged. Okay. So, um, Ashley, uh, had Halloween off. I could take Halloween off and Tiffany has time. She has to use before the, before the end of the year. So we're having an Ashley day. So we're going to go ice skating, then we're going to go out to eat. This is, this started out as our whole plan. Well, then I decided I wanted to make it a little bit more fun. And, um, so Tiffany's favorite color is pink. This is rose gold. Ashley's favorite color is purple. So this is dusted lavender. I know the colors are not coming out very good, but. And then I made two that is called Silver Icicle. Which you guys have seen this yarn before. I have already had this. They're sparkly, just so you know. They're sparkly. Okay, so I have these three. And I made two of these. One of these I put in the little blue pot. They're going to take to their mom because mom and I are both silver. And me and her are never going to be in the same place that we would be wearing these. So I figured it was a safe bet that I could just use the silver. And, and I don't know mom's favorite color, but Ashley, Tiffany, and I are going to go and we're going to ice skate. We're going to get our new little things. Then we're going to go and eat. And who knows where we're going to go from there. But that is our Halloween plans. And I don't have to dress up at work, which I don't know. I just feel like it's not really professional. You know, I, I mean... I get they get into it, a lot of them. I don't, so I'm just not going to be there. So I made all of these this weekend. Okay. Hadn't even thought about them. Hadn't even planned our time out. Um, the December time off is um, Puss Klingelmacht. And Hooked On is a Friday and a Monday and Tuesday. And so I get five days. Um, and I like that. Then, uh, I did the last of the <clears throat> Christmas shopping this weekend, and I think that's, no, no, that's not all I have crocheted. Let me back up. I'm trying to stay on track so that I do, so that I knock this out and you guys get to see all the things that I'm working on, because I have gone a little crazy. Okay, I did this. I don't remember if I had talked to you guys about this. This is a blanket kit. I know I had told you I wanted to make. Uh, one of the sleeve scarves. So I decided for Christmas for myself, 
I know I don't do this very often. This is actually for me. And I've started to seam it down. This is inside out. But I have the two um, sleeves done. I just have to seam them down. And then the rest of it is going to be yellow, which is going to wrap around me. So this is, you can see the seam. It's inside out. But it fits really good. And then it's going to have the wrap part in there. I want to get the sleeves seamed and then... I'll start with the yellow and I'm just going to have the yellow. This is yellow and gray. This is yellow. This is yellow and gray. It kind of tones it down a little bit. So it's not, but I figure with a black pair of pants or even, you know, cream colored pair of pants, it, it doesn't matter. It's going to look nice. So I made the two sleeves and this I've just been working on in my leisure because this is Okay, so I started it before I got bit with the Christmas bug and decided I was going to get everything done. But, yeah, I just started it. <laughs> and so, if it doesn't get done, that's okay. I have one other thing. Now, that's what I'm working on in crochet. I have one that's finished, one that I'm working on. And off of my list, that only leaves me uh, the parts that's in timeout and the crisscross body sweater okay so then I still have this and apparently I mean I, I know I've showed you this before because I've, I've spun this is what I have left out of two pounds this got put in the wrong spot and was in with my yarn so when I went to digging for the yarn I found it I thought I was gonna be done after this but I'm not so I want to get these two spun sorry about the crinkly I want to get these two spun up um, and have this done and plied by the end of the year. Okay. So this again is one of those things that if I don't get it done, that's fine. I've already got yardage in there. That's a, a bobbin too. And then I've got this bobbin spun. And so um, I've got it started. Another bobbin started on the, uh, spinning wheel so i'm getting there this is just an end of the year project and so is the yellow thing they're both for me um i have the rest of the yarn that goes with that fiber then i have another fiber that i get to start but i'm not in any push to start it i've got enough going on right now so the spinning and that yellow thing yellow uh, sweater sleeved sweater or sleeved scarf sorry uh, if they get done, they get done. If they don't, they don't. That being said, that's just my pattern for my thingies there, the uh, head wraps. I did write it down. So, I finished up my Christmas shopping this week. Um, RJ, Tori, and I worked on roommates so part of the thing is is if if it's for the house I benefit too so roommate is getting a nice little fire pit um i don't know if i talked to you about it i think i did so that came in rj's got it at the house he says it's heavy as heck um and then i sat down and i made a list oh sorry um so this is my pattern for my yellow thing. Um, I couldn't find a free pattern that I liked for the sleeved scarf. So I just started with it. It's sleeves and a scarf. Okay. It's sleeves. Then if you open the sleeves up, that becomes a scarf. So yeah, that's the whole pattern. And I wish I quit hitting the table. Okay. So then I sat down and I went through all of the stuff that I had for the kids for Christmas and um, I have a pin right here that's going to have to come out because I've stabbed myself several times. There we go. Okay. And I'll stick it right in here for right now. Um, so I sat down and I had my list of stuff I wanted to get done and then I had my list of things that I'm going to get done or that I dream of getting done 
And then I made my list of Christmas. Yes, I'm a list girl. Always have been, always will be. So, um, let's see where to start. Uh, I started RJ's quilt. Okay. Now he got, uh, an old mattress and stuff from me and a bed frame so that he has a grown up bed. He was still sleeping on the, uh, love seat pull out that he had in his room he's been sleeping on that since he was probably uh, middle school time to grow up you know um he's a boy he's a man he doesn't you know so i started working on his quilt okay i should have gone over this little stuff first so let's back up a minute because i need to get this other stuff out of the way um for Tori, um, to make the gift count even for my children, and yes, I'm very much into that. I don't favor one over the other. I want it to be even. So I had to put in a order from, I always, I don't know what to call this. It's W-A, what is that? Um, let's just look here. Well, whack, I always say it, you know. Here, there's a big one right here. It's a whack. I wanted to put in an order from there before Christmas because Tori wanted some sewing stuff. So one thing I got her is a small mat. Very durable. I am very happy with how this is. Um, I'm actually thinking I need to replace mine, but I'm so attached to mine. If I replace my larger one, which they're pretty expensive now, um, I'll have to catch it on sale. If I replace that one, she'll get my old one, and then she's got this one for now but they are super they're better quality than the one i have that i'm attached to so i wanted to place an order with them and when i did of course you saw i picked up a few things for tori now the first things that i wanted is this um i have bobbin organizers right here the problem is is you get all these little um threads that go everywhere okay so if you have a bobbin pull that you know even if you have the one that has the slots that you put them in individually still the thread doesn't stay so i won one of these and i'm really happy with it um there are a couple that i didn't roll up right but they don't roll around they don't come undone so if i learn to roll them tighter to pop them in there and then you don't have any strings at all. So I wanted this thing. And there were some other things. Um, and funny story. So I saw these online. And, you know, I've been doing those challenges for Tori. And I thought, I'm going to get those and try those. And the worst case scenario is I'll give them to her. So I picked up some guides. And this is a round guide. And there's a little fork down here. And then I got a little square guide. Okay, now these are magnetic and they hook to your uh, metal guide. And so it'll just make it seem. And as you see, I've got my glasses on today. I do wear contacts. As I get older, my eyes aren't so great. Um, these I think will just help me. So I wanted these and they weren't very much. They were like a couple of dollars. Um, and because I was getting some other stuff that the best price was on Bullwhack, uh, I definitely wanted to get these just kind of thrown in. Now, when I did that, they come, these come packaged like this. I did not order two, but they were, they were hooked right here. So when somebody grabbed, they grabbed and it was two of them magnetized together. I took mine out and put them in my little thing. But with the magnet, it was like this and in another package. And it, so I got two and I thought, well, I only ordered one, but Tori could use it. So I put it in with Tori's Christmas stuff. Um, while I was ordering my stuff, um, I got her another set of nippets. I got her a small rotary cutter now hoping 
Tori does not really need an embroidery cutter, okay? I'm hoping she doesn't use it a whole lot. They are super sharp. And her and sharp items don't really go together. This one has a guard. That's why she got the small one. Because I'm hoping that's, you know, not going to get her fingered. I got her a good pair of scissors. And, man, I'm telling you, I might go back. These are titanium. I might go back and get me some. Like, these are really nice. And they sh they cut awesome. So, I mean, I've got my old metal ones. But those are heavy. These aren't so heavy. I'm like, hmm. Um, then the other thing that I picked up, uh, and I just put some in a bag for her, is they have a box of the chalk, the Taylor's chalk that I like, that disappears with heat. Now, um, I have regular chalk. I ordered that. That's, you know, I have, I have two of these, so I'm giving Tori one of these. This is the regular chalk one. It's a hand-me-down. I have two of these, you know. Um, and this is the wax one. They don't fit in the same um, thing, but you just, I never used, I've never had the little container. So, but when I purchased these, I got the chalk thinking that I would like it better. I don't. So I still have a chalk, but I bought a box of these. I don't know. It was like four, five, six dollars. I don't remember. It wasn't very much. And there was, I don't know, 40 or 50 pieces in there. So I just put some in with her. When she needs more, she can come back to the box and get some. Um, that will last quite a long time. So I have her this little package of sewing things for her Christmas, her mat. And I also kept the um, paper out of it. She was telling me that she doesn't have any good paper to make her patterns out of. Well the they package everything with brown paper and so i folded up the brown paper and i put it in the bottom of this thing which is this is the bag i'm giving her for her sewing stuff and then i put a magazine in there for kind of a dream which i was laughing because i was like okay i got her nippers i used the front of the catalog oops i got her nippers i got her rotary i got her scissors i got her chalk um Pretty much everything on here that is a tool that she would need, I got uh, I got her a ruler. Um, it's a hand-me-down ruler, but hey. So some of it's hand-me-down stuff that I don't use that I've had forever. And then some of it, of course, is brand new. Either way, I'm going to say this. Uh, sewing stuff has gotten expensive, and she will appreciate whatever she can get. So um, anyway. I did get those two and this for me, and then of course my chalk, or not chalk, my wax. So I got that. So that is Tori's uh, sewing box. While I was out and getting the other stuff, okay, I literally, yeah, I had picked up RJ a couple pairs of jeans and I think I told y'all I found them for him and gave him a couple because he really needed them. And they were work jeans. Well, while roommate and I were out, we were just kind of finishing up everything, finishing up Christmas shopping and uh, roommate needed another pair of boots. And so roommate was, um, sorry, hitches into things. Roommate was looking for some stuff and I set out to go to Joann's to get the quilting stuff. And I'll tell you what I got there later because I can't get to it because it's all on here. Um, so, and I don't know where to put this. Um, while I was out, I literally got on sale a uh, pair of boots. Now, the funny story is, is that we were there and we were, um, computer uh, we were out looking for boots for, for a roommate there was a young kid trying on some boots that um, he walked out on the floor and and they have a, a hardwood part and they've got a concrete part and he walked out on the concrete and he says oh my gosh I will fall and bust my butt on this he says, these are so slick 
Well, I looked and I was like, oh my God. So they were leather sole, the same kind that RJ uses for roping. Now, when he goes boot shopping, the first thing he does is he feels the bottom of it. If it's got tread on it or grippy, so nonstick, he can't use that for roping. It, it catches you in the stirrup. You have to be able to get your foot out of the stirrup fast. And so he, uh, acting like it wants to go to sleep or something my battery is not low I don't think so um anyway uh when I saw these boots they were exactly they were on the clearance and they were in his size and they were square toed so I texted him and I was like hey I found these boots blah 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 He's like, well, I don't need them right now. And he's one of these, he's gotten to where if he has to ask me for stuff, he's like, I don't need it right now, mom. And I said, but I could give it to you for Christmas. Would you need them by Christmas? And he goes, well, probably by Christmas. He's, I said, what about your birthday? And he said, oh, that's two months. These should last. And I said, what about Christmas? <laughs> he just doesn't think of, they're on sale. They're a good deal. They're in your size. They're sharp looking boots. Um, and then the girl sold me some leather care, just the little brush and the, and the stuff that you put on them to keep them clean and nice. And of course it helps waterproof and make the leather last longer. So I got him some boots. While we were at that place, Roommate didn't find any boots, so we went to another place, and I found RJ's good jeans, and I got them on sale. They're normally $60 or $70 for the jeans that they actually fit him in the waist, in the bum. He didn't have to cinch him up with his belt and all this, but the ones that actually fit him are, they're made by Wrangler, and they're George Strait, and um, they have to be the original, not the relaxed fit, to fit him right. Because I know that people say, oh, these are relaxed fit. These are uh, original and they're the same thing. No, they're not. And they're, they're totally different and they fit different. So I found him one and got him uh, a good pair of jeans. So I've got put away two pair of jeans that I got for work. I got a good pair of jeans and I got him a pair of boots. Those are all the things that he is always needing come Christmas time or winter time. So I got her those. Hitch, knock it off and get out. Go on. Go on. He has been acting so weird here lately. Um. Anyway, so I got that. Uh, and of course I got it all on sale. So yes, I'm reading my list. So when I lined up, you know, I got the games. Um. I made the PJs, I made the stockings, I had Tori a scarf set, which I didn't have anything for RJ, well, the jeans took care of that, and then her sewing stuff, the boots took care of that, so it literally is even, okay, except for the quilt stuff that I was making for RJ for his bed, so, uh, I was working on it. I've come up with a plan. RJ is going to bring me my grandmother's old quilt that is stored away. It needs some repair. I'm going to repair it and then she can maintain it. So she will get a quilt and he will get a quilt and everything is good to go. Okay. So got my little Christmas list done. Okay. Now I have been working on his quilt. Oops. And yes, I have planned these out, these rows, and I want them to be very uniform. Not really. <laughs> it's total chaos. I, I don't want the big squares to end up in the same spot. I want them to look just kind of randomly so they can't touch. Solids can't touch and prints can't touch. Or not really prints can't. Anyway, so this is row one. And it's pretty cool. You can see 
where he used to help me pick out um, fabric for bags and stuff that some of it was for him, some of it was clothes, and I actually have them labeled. You can see this is row number one. And so I've got it. Then I've got three of these rows done. Okay. I've got the fourth laid out. So this weekend, and this is what started roommate and I out on Labor Day catching sales. We, we hadn't planned it that way. It just kind of happened. So I uh, kept looking on Joann's and that for some decent sales because, as you know, this batting can get pretty expensive. Um, it can be anywhere. The queen and king size one, the king size ones were 44 something. The queen size ones were in the 30s. You know, I got this bad boy for 17 something or 16 something. Can't tell you which. Because they had a big Labor Day sale at uh, Joanne's. So, and then I had a coupon. <laughs> and so, anyway, yes, I got extra loft, queen size. I was actually looking for a little bit denser, but this is the only one they had left. Okay, so extra lot. The loft is we're making do with what they had because instead of paying 30 some dollars for a brand that wasn't on sale. And this is the large, which is 90 by 108, which the quilt, when it measures out, when I cut all of the things, it was 90 by 100. Take away seam allowance. Yeah, we'll be doing fine with this, and it should be a queen size. So I got that baby for $17. It was either 16 and some change or 17 and some change. I don't remember which. And then I had... <clears throat> to decide what I was going to back this with. And lo and behold, I got three yards of extra wide, 108 inch. And the reason I don't know whether that was $17, but it might have been this one that was $16 or $17. So less than $40 to finish the quilt. And, you know, I got this on sale. Someplace I have my ticket. I don't remember. I was going to tell y'all all the prices and stuff, but pretty much they were having a sale. A lot of it was on sale and yeah. So I got this. I'm going to move it over here just because I have a stack there. So, um, this is just in my way, but I did get that and I was super stoked about that. Okay, now while I was in Joann's, I did find some cute little, and I have no idea why I'm attached to this. Um, I'll show you this little fabric. And I got it so that I could work on Tori's next challenge. Yay. Um, I got this little, and that's little pumpkins in there. And it just was perfect for the challenge that I was doing for Tori. And I picked up that. And it was, I just got like a, a half yard. So it was like two bucks. It wasn't very much because it was already on sale for like 50% off. And then I didn't even get a whole yard. So yeah, it was like $2. And just so you know, we're going to start teaching Tori to piece things together. Um, and a little bit on the curve. So yeah, her next challenge is she is making, I'm looking for that. Um, I'm going to show her the difference of how it works up with this, but they're pumpkins. I, I don't have them this small opening, and I don't have them stuffed yet. And I, of course, then you can thread, you know, around with a button on the top, and it'll be the same thing with this, hand thread. And I made big ones. I made three big ones because these are going to be my decorations anyway up the office. So I made three big ones and I literally had this and this in my stash. This is the only thing that I added to it. So I'm going to make three big ones and Tori can see 
the different shape that this will make and more pumpkin like looking by piecing them together. Um, not only does that, but it also does the quilting kind of thing. So I have one more of these to do now. I've got one large one to do this way, which I want to do. And so these are all my pieces to make per video. So that will get done here in the next day, day or two. Of course, I have to show her how to make a pattern. Super easy stuff. So that is in the works. Um, then while I was there, I am going to do Tiffany and Ashley. You know, we're doing Ashley Day. So I was struggling with what to give them for Christmas. So I've decided I'm going to make them night shirts and I'm going to make it out of this. Yep. I'm super happy with that. Uh, and I might actually make some short. I don't know. I, I just picked up some yardage and the elastic and the thread. And I know those are going to be pajamas, um, night shirts, whatever you want to call it for them. So we'll see how that goes. But then I've got one birthday that I've got to get done. I have them right here. Uh, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do uh, the candy dish, you know, the little bowls, cloth bowls. I'm going to do those with that. Um, I had an idea when I did it. And then I've got all this stuff going and I can't remember what I decided on to make her. So I think it's going to be the little bowls that I do, but I have to look at the Christmas stuff and see if that's what I planned her for Christmas. Hmm. Yeah, it's getting pretty sticky. <laughs> all right. Um, so after getting all this stuff in the works, I sat down and I was like, okay, I need, I've got my Christmas list, you know, all done, everything. Then I need to figure out what I've got to get finished for Christmas, what I need, you know. So I made a list of the things that I need to get done. Uh, on it, I've got the quilt and shams for RJ. The uh, crochet hat for Macy's cat, which is a joke. Her mom wants them. Uh, I've got to fix the quilt for Tori, which I still have to get from the farm. RJ's bringing it to me. I've got to make the Ashley and Tiff's PJs. I got to do the pumpkins. I got to do Nicole's birthday. I've got to go back through the office gifts because not only did I not know what I set for Nicole for Christmas, the whole staff has changed. So I've got to go back through. And honestly, I think there's the same number of staff. So they're all going to just get one. And if they're not, the perfect I like pink and I didn't get a pink one tough so and I'm still doing the coasters and candy you know the little candy dish with the coaster that's it um then I had that I wanted to get done the spinning fiber the headbands the sleeve scarf and the crisscross uh sweater that has been out there and I don't know. I guess it's kind of in timeout. So I am trying to rank what I need to get done. And I don't want, here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to get all the little things done just because it's the most. I need to get this quilt done and I need to get my button gear, get it done. Um, and then I can do all the little things that are super easy. And I'm hoping to have this quilt done before, I don't know where that paper went, I've lost it, uh, oh, there it is, before the October vacation days. Um, if it's not done by October, I'm going to get on it and get it done in October. In December, I want my December, the first part of December, to be about decorating the hoops and baking and... That will be at Pusklingelmacht is that Friday the 1st, and that's why I took off, so I'm going to go there. Um, yeah, uh, it. I want to have all of it done. Like the office gifts, I just have to sort through and put name tags on stuff and see if Nicole's birthday stuff matches. I don't want to do the same thing twice. Um, 
the headbands are done. I got those done this weekend. They were super easy. And that's what made me think, how far could I have been on this quilt if I had not worked on the little stuff? And how much of the little stuff can I go without if I don't get it done? So, yeah. <laughs> um, I've got to get my priorities straight on this. And like I said, I can do a lot of little stuff. Um, Ashley and Tiffany's PJs I need to get done. I can get those done literally in one day. Um, I did all of the kids' in one day. I can do, you know, theirs in one day. Uh, fix Tori's quilt. I'm not sure what that entails yet. Um, the cat hats, if I don't get them done, I don't get them done. Uh, because Macy's mom, I think, wants me to make her team matching red and white hats, or red and gray hats, I can't remember. But, yeah, for her, uh, for work, for her to give away. Which is great, I'm glad, but she needs to tell me now how many. And you notice it's not on this list because, and I texted RJ the other day and said, tell her if I don't know, you know, by October 1, not going to be on the list, not going to be done. So the sleeve scarf, the crossover scarf, those are things for me. The spinning, if it's on my goal list for the end of the year. Is it going to be done? Y'all know me too well. You know it's probably not, but I'm going to shoot for it. But the other stuff, I need done by Christmas. So I'm going to do it. And Nicole's birthday is in November. Um, I already have Ashley's birthday. Uh, Tiffany's birthday came and went. I already did hers. Ashley's I have, and it's already done. It, it was a little purple crossover bag, and then I got her gift cards last weekend. And so, yeah, there's that. But other than that, guys... This is Christmas. Let me show you. Oh, there. There's actually boots. Uh, that, that little white box there behind the mannequin is the boots with the boot stuff in it. Then I've got the box down here that's the sewing stuff. It's all in one place. It's all in one room. And I told Rumi, I said, um, I'm not cleaning up the office for a while i said i need to get the quilt done and i need to get and everybody was cool with that right so that's fine it says that christmas will come soon enough and it's going to be fun that's the thing is it's going to be a fun christmas it's no stress other than mom getting stuff done which if you haven't noticed i kind of like the stress of having to get christmas it's fun for me so um i did get the two i know this is but i know i should have showed you this in a different order but it was underneath everything else um i've got the pillow shams i know how i'm going to do them and i do have them pinned together and i had to move one pin because it was in the middle and sticking up when i folded it but they're going to look like this with the black and then they're just going to um have the pocket at the top so that you can put the pillow in, which this will be reversed, it'll be over. And then um, I am going to, because these are so big, I'm gonna put, once this is stitched, wrong sides, you know, so that it all goes together. I'm just gonna go along and have about half of this be a border so that it actually fits the pillow better. Um, I've got a measure. I don't know what the standard measurements of a pillow are, so. And this, I got to take this pin back out and put it right. But it kept poking me while I kept, so I'm going to put it long ways. It's because it's in the center. So anyway, but yeah, I've got these two. I know how I'm going to do it. And this black is just some black um, that I had for, I don't know, something else, I guess. It was just in there. It's a little bit heavier duty than the backing that I'm using. But honestly, nobody's going to know. So, yeah. But other than that, like I said, I've got um, all the stacks. These are all my squares. Okay, I have one square over there that I just piled everything on that is actually laid out in order and stacked up. I know how to do it. 
I'll be sewing, I hope, one strip a night. Then I'm going to do it as it, I'm going to lay it all out on the floor, pin it all together, and I want to do it as a quilt as you go, the strips across, and then all I have to do is run my long ones down because this is squares. So I'll be quilting it myself if, which I'm hoping that I can do it on the machine if it's too big or it gets to a part because I know I can do, I don't know, I roll it and my arm, my brother has a pretty good area, but I have never done a quilt. So this area right here, this opening takes a pretty big roll when you're rolling it out flat. And because it's a quilt, you only have to do half and half. So if it's a queen, that half of that queen would be, and I think uh, it was 90 inches. No, it was 100 inches wide. So it'd only be 50 inches rolled this way. And then I'd turn it and do, I think it'll be the biggest project I've ever attempted. If this fails, I'll be hand stitching the squares. So. It is what it is. Just saying. So, yeah. But that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Um, right now, I am super stoked about how it's turning out. I am loving it. Um, and we'll, we'll see. So, I am trying to get done the uh, Nicole stuff next. That is a birthday for November. But in order to do that, i got to get to the Christmas stuff. Someplace in here, here, there is a bag of, oh, way up there, of those things that I made that's the coasters and candies. Um, if I get to it, I am going to attempt a tea caddy. It probably will be in December, you know, but I've got to get all this stuff that I have planned done first. And I am going to be super hard on myself until I get it done. So, all right, this is getting to be a little bit long, but it's because I had so much going on and... Yeah, hopefully next week I'll have progress. And I still have to make her um, pumpkin video. So, yeah. It is what it is. But that's challenge number four for Tori. And I will get that done hopefully this week. If not, then this weekend. Um, but, yeah. You guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me battle. And hopefully next week I'll have progress to show you. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching.